raining once again, so I figured I would, uh, I've been flogging this thing for like a week straight since I got the batteries, and let me tell you, it's a hell of a lot of fun. I had enough people coming up to me going, you know that's illegal. Yeah, and spinning on the ground is illegal too, but, uh, you know, like I wouldn't do it. So, I'm going to take the wheel off. Uh, it's been pretty hot. We'll see how the, uh, 1606 fared, drawing over 40 amps through it. <laughs> yeah, this thing, it's weird because when I go out and I give her, instead of the forks bottoming out, they bottom out the opposite way, like the whole front wants to lift up, <laughs> which I've never had before on a bike. It's hilarious. And if I didn't have the extra weight from the wood, uh, I'd probably be doing willies. <laughs> so, I'm going to take it off. Drill some holes in the case. Um, I still have an idea for cooling, but I'm not going to reveal it until I actually try it. But it's not water cooled and it's not air cooled, so I'll still be able to do it with the holes in the um, in the case. But we'll see. I'm not, I don't think I'll test it on this motor though. I'll test it on one that uh, uh, I'm not probably not going to use. For I use it as a tester because if it doesn't work, it's going to be a hell of a job to clean it up. You can figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell. <laughs> so, okay, let's take this thing off and uh, see if I uh, baked it. I had someone ask me how to take the covers off. It was a while ago. Uh, these are a little bit different than uh, your standard hub motor. Because um, this this, this uh, cover here will actually warp. And it actually does throw off your, uh, your treating job. So... The easiest way to do it is to use four screwdrivers like that. Um, and then you grab two of them on each end and sort of wiggle them like this. And you're slowly going to bring it off the, um, the sealed bearings. You work your way around until it pops up. Because if you force it too much, this case here will actually bend. And uh, like I said, it'll throw your true job off. You'll have to redo the wheel. Or worse, you crack it. So, just to give you the heads up, maybe half an inch or an inch. Then you can basically get your fingers in there and work it until it comes right off. But even then, it's hard. And there it goes. Wow, that fared pretty good. I pretty, I was, uh, I, I thought for sure that it would be cooked. It's a little bit darker, but not by much. I can probably use one of my other videos to uh, go over it, see if it's uh, darkened at all, but uh, I think it's fared pretty good. Cool. Ooh, reeks. Yeah. Okay, well, let's put some holes in that case. We'll hog wild them, just some small ones really close to the stator, and then I beveled them, and then I got the opposite on the other side. Just enough to give it a little bit of air without uh, introducing a lot of crap into the motor. But they're uh, really close to the stator. And how I did it is when I lifted it up high enough, I just stuck this under where I was going to drill. And uh, it catches all the uh, shavings. And then I just spin the top on top of this. And drill, 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 drill. This is just, you know, save me from slipping and ruining my stator and my windings, so it's done. And uh, like I said, it's not burnt, so they can definitely handle over 40 amps. <laughs> get piping hot. Sweet. Well, those little simple holes worked. It uh, wasn't even warm to the touch after giving her. I'm making a video. <laughs> I got uh, this one tapered this way, and, well they're actually both the same way, they're actually the wrong way, but uh, it's still cool, so that's cool. Oh shoot, and I left the bike on all this time, that's still pretty good, could use a charge now. <clears throat> this is the relay, it's, uh, it's from Canadian Tire. It's uh, ready for 40 amp, 12 volt, and it works. But 
problem I had was the fit on the board. You see that one there? It was a smaller one would overheat and it would turn off or it would save itself from destruction. So I changed it with the more heavy duty one. It doesn't even need a heat sink. It stays lukewarm. So it works. And that's, that gets hot. But